All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for your co-main event of the evening. And this bout is for the Showcase 125 pound title. First, please welcome to the cage, Shamel Fenley. Jamel Finley making his walk to the cage now. Seems very calm, like he's almost like he's been here before. High pressure situations don't seem to affect him much. I believe he's looking to perform and perform at a high, high level tonight. He's going to be facing Randall War Boy Austin. So he's going to have his challenge in front of him. Shamel, the bad man, Finley. Coming out of Atlanta, Georgia, fighting with the American top team out of Gwinnett, which is really a renowned camp. A lot of great fighters have come out of there. I've had the opportunity to call several fights from Diego Lima, Douglas Lima. Um, they're just a really talented group of fighters down there at ATT Quinnette. Shamel Finley's been at this for five years. He told me before the fight that one of the main things he wants to get out of this is testing his skills. And he's gonna get a chance to do that against the champion, Randall Alston, no doubt about that, here at 125 pounds. And his opponent making his way to the cage, please welcome Randall Austin. I tell you what I love watching about Randall Warboy Austin when it comes to mixed martial arts. He is one of those submission threats that can happen at any time. Um, I think back to this ankle lock that he put on Joshua Oxendine. But, you know, if you go back to that matchup at 125 pounds, Randall Austin was the underdog going into that match. Um, Joshua Oxendine, who's a phenomenal competitor here in the region, really had a lot of momentum behind him at that time. And although he did drop some weight to fight Randall Austin, that was a huge win. And he got it with a heel hook. And it was, it was one of those sneaky heel hooks that came out of nowhere. And when you've got a guy that can threaten you like that, that's, that's just awesome to watch. Randall Austin just got promoted to ground belt. And um, leg locks were one of those things that he has worked on recently that he has gotten just crazy good at. And he has found a love and a passion for that particular niche of BJJ. And um, he's gotten incredibly good at him. And he, if you leave your leg hanging, he's going to snatch it. And you know, you, you mentioned it being a niche section of jiu-jitsu, and it really is. In fact, some gyms don't even really train that many leg locks, you know, but at their own detriment, because it's a very real threat in this sport. It can end fights instantly. And I think back to some guys, Husamar Polara is one that comes to mind that has been able to, you know, and that fear in his opponents. I mean, his opponents are doing everything in the world they can to not get their ankles picked. Now, I'm not saying that Randall Lawson is, you know, quite at the Husamar Polaris level of, 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 of leg locks, but what he's shown so far has been awesome. I wonder if he'll look for one of those against Shamel, the bad man, Finley, tonight. It appears Jimmy Neely is checking out the knee pads Randall Lawson has on here and seeing if uh, it will be allowed in this match. And, He's gonna say no. So they're gonna cut these knee pads off Randall Austin here before the match gets started. You know, it's great. We've seen both Randall Austin and Shamel Finley here in the Showcase MMA cage. Both these guys are no strangers to this venue and to this promotion. It, it almost seems like it was inevitable that these two would clash at some point in time. And tonight is that time. Here at Showcase MMA 26, live from the Meta View Arena in Kingsport, Tennessee. 
Matt Tomlinson and Preston Schick in the broadcast booth. This is your co-main event. Randall Austin, Shamel Finley. Let's go to Jennifer. This bout is scheduled for five five-minute rounds. First, to my right, fighting out of the Mission Cornhole Blue Corner. He weighed in at 126 pounds. Holds a professional record of three wins with one loss and represents American Top Team Lima in Atlanta, Georgia, Shamel Bodman Finley. And his opponent across the cage to my left, fighting out of the Gold Spectrum CBD Red Corner. He weighed in at 125 pounds. Holds an undefeated record of four wins with zero losses and represents Team Oxendine in Johnson City, Tennessee. Randall Warboy Austin! Your referee when the action begins is Jimmy Neely. All right, we are seconds away from the Komen event. Both these guys staring each other down. They are gonna meet head to head in the middle of the championship belt on the line, and here we go. Warboy Randall Austin in the camouflage trunks. His opponent, Shamel Badman Finley in the green and black. Both moving a lot in this first round to see where they can fit in some angles on each other. And look at Warboy looking, moving his head, looking in different areas, like he was using his eyes as feints almost. Both very relaxed, moving, just moving around, moving those feet. And yeah. I'll tell you what, being able to move like that, that's that's a lot of cardio, road work, getting out there running, hitting the jump rope. That's all that is to uh, be so, just so you can stay light on your toes like this for a long period of time. Yeah, the athleticism of both these guys is, is very, very high. And they both know, they both know how dangerous each other are too. You can see that. That sort of respect here early on as they look for an opening. Ooh, good, good, strong looking punches coming from Badman Shamel Finley. Just like that, keep the pace. Side to side. Head movement, side to side. Randall with a lot of head movement. Oh yeah. There you go. Left left goes down the pipe and connects a little bit. Working a lot of jab crosses and some some inside leg kicks here. And Shamel Finley looks very poised. You know, he, he looks very, very collected in there with a lot of punches flying by him all over the place. Let me get some combos after that kick. Oh, high kick just barely misses the mark. Shamel drops his hand, says let's go. Both taking their time, feeling this out. No guy rushing too much. Shamel throwing some leather there. So much speed involved in these lower weight classes. You know, it's they say speed kills. Well, speed really kills at this level. Yeah, you really can't blink whenever these guys are going through it, going at it. Shamel landing a couple good shots, getting acknowledgement from Randall Austin. Doesn't seem to be too phased, just giving the respect where it's due. President, how much of this how much of this dancing is involved in foot placement? How much is how much is it necessary to control where that lead foot is in respect to your opponents? So it's it's actually really important um, because if you're able to cut the angle and be on the outside foot of the other individual, you can hit shots that you wouldn't normally be able to hit because of like a good guard or someone being able to block and slip their head really well. So. If you can, if you can get to the outside foot, you're able to, um, you're able to land some shots you wouldn't normally be able to land. So it's very important. Shamel in the southpaw stance, at least was. We just switched. Shamel's been able to switch stances pretty consistently. Randall Austin can't tell. He got cut in his uh, one of his last fights. And it looks like it might have opened up here in this one. I see it. I do see it. It's not quite leaking, but I, I do see it. Looks irritated. You know, Randall Olsen really, really worked hard for that takedown. Shamel Finley doing a great job of not going there. Mitigating. Yeah, they're now right the separation. Back to it. Yeah, now, now the blood's starting to come out a little bit of that left eye, and that's not 
Yeah, that's what sucks so much about scar tissue is it's so easy to just open back up. Mm -hmm. Once it's there, it's the, it's the Nate Diaz issue. Yeah, I can't exactly see the position of that cut. It doesn't look like it's in a... I believe it's on the eyelid. Wow, what a rolling out of that one. Shamel Finley wanting to keep the fight standing. Yeah, he doesn't want to. He doesn't want to go to the ground with Randall Austin, and he's doing a good job of not going there too. You know, I don't know if if Shamel Finley's game plan is to keep this standing the whole time, but he's doing a good job of it. And he's got some strong punches too. You got Shamel's corner telling him to throw some combination punches. Land some leg kicks. Randall down for another takedown. Wow, that is Shamel. some great defense from Shamel because Randall is really qu is quickly trying to secure a leg. He's doing all the right things, but Shamel Finley's takedown defense just on a high level tonight. Yeah, keeping strong hips, making sure to to get his hips back whenever Randall does any le any sort of level change. Yep, and Shamel landed a good elbow there at the end, a couple of knees on the inside, and you know that's a tough first round. It's Hard for that, hard to score that one, but um, yeah, I'm glad I got the job to not have to do that, Preston. I got the easier <laughs> job. I just get to talk about the fights. Absolutely, Randall at the end of that round seemed a bit unfazed, and Shamel definitely looking like he's in shape. So both guys don't seem to be worried about a round two. Let's take a look at some of the round one action that we got a chance to see. It was a lot of bouncing around, a lot of strikes getting thrown. And Randall Lawson, you know, looking all over the place, just sort of confusing his opponent. Good movement. Nice left hand straight down the middle. Yep, connected there. And that was, you know, both fighters had their moments in the round, number one. They were able to land some good punches. See Robert Green in the corner. King Green. You know, Matt Perk will go into work on that on that cut. You know, it's round one. We have four five-minute rounds to go. And, you know, there's nothing wrong as a, as a competitor to try to exploit, you know, that cut, you know. Um, I would imagine that Shamel Finley knows it's there, and the way to get it to it is a, maybe a right hand, you know, or some, some, some elbows or something like that. But that certainly becomes a tactic in this sport where, you know, your, your opponent has a cut, you go for it, you try to make it worse. This is a fight. Absolutely. Win, that's the game. Yeah. <laughs> Shamel Finley looking very focused in there. Yeah, moving a lot with his hands to try and confuse Randall Austin on a win. He's gonna throw any of those punches. Randall doing the same thing. Using a lot of head movement, moving his hands a lot. In and out, hot on the toes. Yeah, lots of bouncing around. Randall Lawson, a very mobile fighter, here at 125 pounds. Looks like Randall's talking a little bit. Yeah, I think he drew a smile from Shamel Finley there. Something he said, couldn't hear him. Randall with the high kick just missed. That right hook from Shamel Finley sort of tagged him. Good leg kick from Finley. Randall Austin staying engaged. Both of them staying just out of the range of the other, just to see how close they can get and poke the bear before. Oh. Nice, hot, nice straight left from. That's the from second Finley. time that Shamel Finley's landed a good punch down the pipe like that, uh, uh, following up on a combo. And a, and a right hand find, finds its way through the guard now. A left hand finds its way. Finley's confidence is growing here, and, sh and Randall Lawson with his back up against the cage is looking for a way out of this. Good body kick. Ooh. Randall down. Man, he closed that distance pretty fast. He's going to want to try to finish here and get his opponent down. Shamel Finley, just another great display of takedown defense. Finley's just showing some real strength with those takedown defense. Randall controlling on the cage here just a little bit. Maybe look to land some knees, some shoulder strikes. Yep, there's the shoulder strikes. Finley about to break, and then they're back to the middle. This is where Finley wants it. And you gotta think that Austin Randall 
feels pretty good if he can get this fight down. If he can turn this into a grappling match, you got to think that Austin's going to feel more comfortable. Whereas Shamel Finley is right where he wants to be, standing up, trading leather. Yeah, and these these are these are two different um, strategies that that one might use. You know, stay on the feet versus taking someone down and. You know, one strategy could be working for half the fight, and then the second half of the fight, the other strategy starts to take over due to, you know, many different reasons. And Shamel Finley showing off his strength there because Randall Lawson had both his arms around him. Shamel Finley able to use strength to get out of that takedown. And punch comes through from Randall Austin. Oh, Randall went up high with the, with the teep. Shamel back to the southpaw stance, and he's switching b between his stances a good bit. Yeah, he seems to be switching depending on what look Randall is giving him. Sometimes he's switching when, when Randall moves to his right side, he switches to southpaw, and he moves to the left side, he switches to orthodox. It seems like he's mixing it up pretty well, too, not, trying, not creating a pattern with his switches. Right. Seems very comfortable in both stances. That's that's something you love to see in a striker if they're ready to come at you both ways. And now Shamel Finley with Randall Austin up against the side of the cage. We've got less than a minute to go here in round number two. Here comes the foot stomp. Second time we've seen that tonight. Finley answering the call of his corner, delivering a foot stomp or two. And doing a good job of just maintaining this position up against the cage. Austin looking for a way out to try to reverse. Ooh, that elbow was close. That would have left another scar if that one had landed. Randall seems unfazed, pushes forward, stays on him, keeps the pressure moving. 15 seconds left to go here in round number two. Shamel Finley taking the center of the cage, pressing the action. Leg kick, body kick comes in. Oh, Finley tried to take his head off with that one. All right, now round number two in the books. We go to round three, and that was a a little bit more of a a, a little bit more of a high flying action in that fight. We saw Shamel Finley land a couple of significant looking shots, an elbow or two, and these guys certainly have each other's attention at this point in time. Let's take a look at some of the action here at round one on our replay coming up. And here it is in the middle. A lot of pawing out from Randall Austin trying to keep his opponents at a distance. And there's one of the good one, two, three combinations. You saw it backed up Randall Austin from the force of receiving those punches. And Matt Perkle back to work on the eye of Randall Austin. Robert Green and Shamel Badman Finley there in their corner. And now round three underway. I think they weighed off the glove touch. No need for that. And we're back. Round three underway in this co main event. So much on the line. The strap is up for grabs. 125 pounds in this professional matchup. Your champion, Randall Lawson in the camouflage, taking on the challenger, Shamel Badman Finley in the green and black trunks with gold lace. Shamel showing a, a, a lean towards striking. Randall showing a lean towards wanting to grapple. Randall Austin really paws out his jab a lot. It, you can tell that Randall Austin uses his jab as a weapon, not just as a damage dealer, but as a feeler outer, as a setter upper. Good range finder. You know, the jab can be used to just, like I said, to gauge where you're at and to, and to maybe get your opponent's head moving one way or another and land, you know, your sniper shot, your straight left hand in Randall's case. Oh, 
Oh, man, he fired that punch. Shamel Finley countering very well. And shamel has been countering very well since this fight started. Um, definitely showing a tendency towards counterpunching. And no, that one landed on the temple of Randall Austin, who every time he eats a shot, you can't tell. He continues to come forward, landing a good shot of his own there. That was... Right hand comes through and connects, courtesy of Randall Austin. Finley's finding himself a bit closer to the cage in this round. Don't know if that's by design or if that's just from the continuous pressure of Randall Austin. Great combo from Randall Austin, one of his best of the fight so far. One, two, were both landed. But not phasing Shamel Finley. A lot of great movement of his own. Both these guys are showing great movement, great footwork, great head movement. You've got a really technical striking contest happening between these 225-pound fighters. Hey, let me see some of them leg kicks again. Let me see them leg kicks. Leg kicks! Remember when you caught the stab in his face, Tony Tucker. A flurry exchange in the middle, and they're back at it. Shamel trying to extend the arm out, trying to, trying to hold down his opponent's jab. It was a good check by Shamal Finley. Checking the leg kick Randall Lawson threw in. We know how devastating check leg kicks can be. Thank Dustin Poirier, Conor McGregor, one of the first ones to come to mind. Yeah, Anderson Silva, Chris Weidman. Another great one. Chris oh. Weidman getting his. That's right, Chris Weidman, <laughs> whoever did that to him. Yep, the karma that comes back around. Randall Lawson moving all over the place, never staying in one spot, but Shamal Finley has got some crisp hands on him. That's for sure. He does. Randall, a nice looking leg kick there. Looks like uh, Randall Lawson has sort of abandoned the takedown here in round number three. Hasn't gone for one yet. Uh-oh. That was a punch coming, the second punch finding its way. Randall Lawson gets stumbled back again. Now, Shamel Finley just looking for that opening. Just laser beam focus from Shamel Badman Finley here, seeking his chance. Oh, Randall Austin with a good left punch. Randall back to, back to work at, just like it's, uh, it's another day. You know, gets caught with a couple of good clean punches, doesn't seem, doesn't seem to be faced, go back to the same game plan. Shamel hit him with a good inside leg kick there. Shamel's corner is calling for more leg kicks. Hopefully to maybe uh, slow down Randall Lawson in his movement. Hard jab there from, from Finley. Finley's back into orthodox stance now. It's, you never really know which one he's gonna do. He, he can go to either almost instantaneously. Yeah, I think that was more of a trip, but still good. Randall Austin snatching that oh. leg up quick. Oh, he wants it. He wants to take that ankle home with him. Good reversal uh, by Randall right Austin. Right here at the end of the round. Yeah. You know, that, that was a, a very eventful flurry there at the end. You saw Shamal Finley get the takedown, but then Randall reverses it with a submission threat. It's hard to really say what value the judges apply to that, but you know, that was sort of a, another close round we had there. Yeah. Another tough one to call. Uh, same along the lines with round one, but, you know, it's just whatever the judges look like. Let's take a look at the replay and see a little closer action of what we saw in round three. A lot of guys, both, both guys had a lot of moments. And there was one of the good strikes landed. He follows up with another one, bam. Another good exchange, Shamal Finley getting the better of that one. Matt Perkle back to work on the left eye of Randall Austin. Doesn't look that bad. It doesn't really look like it's that vicious. It might not be in the best spot, but it's not, it's le not leaking. leaking like a faucet or, or yeah, anything. It's not getting any worse. It's packed right. pretty good with Vaseline, I'd say, right now. No, I think we're okay. We should be good, for another, good to go for another two.
And we have entered the championship rounds, the proverbial deep waters that you only find yourselves in when the strap is on the line. Round four underway. Randall Lawson, the champion, the challenger, Shamel Finley. These are the rounds that can really make or break a fighter. Not used to running extra 10 minutes, basically, in, uh, in these rounds. What type of impact does that have on your overall strategy knowing you got to go for five potentially instead of three well uh when it comes to to training uh it means that you need more road time more times on the mat more time on the mat and then when you're in the cage it means you know maybe slower a little bit slower of a pace maybe not go so hard in the early rounds because and just empty your gas tank because you know some guys will empty their gas tank first couple rounds thinking, you know, pacing themselves for a, a three-round fight, and it really uh, shows in the last two rounds. And then sometimes when you see high-level athletes in the lower weight classes, it never slows down at all. <laughs> it's high octane from one through five. Yeah, I mean, you think you think of guys like Dominic Cruz, Henry Cejudo, you know, those those guys don't, don't ever seem to stop. And they're still fast as in the first round as they are in the fifth. Mighty Mouse Johnson, another Mighty one that comes Mouse, to mind. Of he, course. He never slowed down at once. And we haven't seen either of these guys slow down. And, but look, that's what, that's what you get when you reach this level of competition. That, you know, you got the champion, Randall Lawson, and Shamel Finley, who's fought successfully here in this promotion many times, worked his way up. And when you get to this level, you, you, just, you start to see that display of athleticism and cardio. I think it was Vince Lombardi that said that fatigue turns every man into a coward. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> fatigue or your gas tank can be a weapon. I mean, you think most of the times in MMA, you know, you punch someone in the face, you kick them, elbow them, knee them, and, you know, that's that's your weapons. That's what's going to put someone away. But, man, I'm telling you, if, you have your, if your gas tank is in order, you can melt people. Very evenly matched round here on number four. We're halfway through it. Both guys have landed a couple of sharp punches, but neither of them really carving out a, an edge for themselves yet here in the championship rounds. I can't help but be curious what these judges have seen so far with three and a half rounds. And now Randall Austin. Oh, wobbled him. Pushing his opponent up against wobbled the face. him. Right hand finds his mark from Austin. You got to think Austin smells blood. But Shamel Finley looks like he's back in action. Mel composed himself. He's back to throwing out those jabs. Hey, keep the fence going. Keep the fence going. In and out. And Randall looks. Austin haven't seen a takedown attempt in two and a half, uh, one and a half rounds now. You got to wonder if he's feeling comfortable that he's winning these stand-up exchanges. No need to take down if you feel like you're doing good. Hey, don't throw him naked. Don't let him throw him naked. Feed him three. Oh, yeah. Nice right, nice right hand from Shamel Finley. Yep, Finley snuck one through there, hey, snapped together, back the head of the champion. Randall Lawson is always changing three, angles, three, never standing in a straight line. Shamel, a little showmanship there. Switching back and forth, it's like I don't even know what his natural stance is. I don't know if he's an orthodox or a southpaw. Or he seems fine with both. Yeah, he uh, he's very comfortable in both stances. It seems like for the for this fight, he has been mostly. Ooh. I don't know. That left hand comes out. That left hand of Finley comes so quick that I think I think he's probably a. I don't know. I don't know. I, mean, I can't <laughs> tell. The right hand goes quick, too. I'm not yeah. really sure. Now back to Southpaw. Randall Austin looking like he's got a cut over his other eye. Yeah, Looks like pretty it. small. Doesn't seem like it's going to be much of a factor here. Randall Austin snuck in a good right straight. Left hand finds his mark. A clean, evenly matched round so far here in number four. And I think we may get treated to number five. We've got about 50 seconds left to go. Both guys turning up the intensity here. Come forward. Come forward. Come forward. Come forward. Come forward. 
All right. Fifth round. Final round. The championship round. And look, I still think this one's anybody's ball game. Um, I'm not sure either fighter has really solidified a lead. Both of them have had their moments. But, uh, you know, I think we're I think we're down to who wins this round. I, I mean, I could be wrong. I don't have a, a scorecard in front of me. But if one of these fighters can really dominate this final round, they're making a good case for themselves. All right, take a look here at your screen. We're going to watch some of the action from last round. You know, here's one of some of the some of the better punches that Austin was able to land there and snuck in a little short left hook that seemed to wobble him just a bit, but yep. Finley recovered pretty quickly and went right back to work with those jabs. Yeah, that may have been one of Randall Austin's better rounds. You can't help but wonder are we going to see more of the same or will Randall Austin look to get that takedown in one of those viciously fast heel hook attempts again? Time will tell, my friend. We've got five minutes. Five minutes left. One more, Samel. One more. Five minutes. The championship strap on the line. Randall Warboy Austin. Shamel Badman Finley. Here on a Saturday night in the MetaView Arena in Kingsport, Tennessee. One man walks away the champion. One man walks away without the belt. Who wants it more? At the beginning of the round, it looked like Randall called for him to, to really leave it all out there. He said, come on, let's go. This is our last round. Let's do it. All right, good exchange there. Shamel Finley saying, let's get it done. Forward pressure, forward pressure. Make it feel your presence. And what a fight we've got. Both these guys really showcasing great talent. And, and, and Finley there landing a strong right. Good body kick and a left straight, or excuse me, a right straight from Randall Austin. Hey, get your feints going, get your feints. And cardio not a factor here as we talked about. And there's no, no deep breaths coming from either side. Or Both oh. guys showing, yeah, a great gas tank here. Oh, man, another nice shot from Finley. Backs, oh, and another left hand finds his way from Finley. Great combination, an elbow from Finley now. Strong combination here in the beginning parts of round number five. And he pushes off. Randall Austin sneaks in a right. Needs to get away from the cage. Finley's closing in, picking his shots. Randall landed a nice shot on his way out there. And Finley's throwing some stiff punches here in round number five so far. A couple of them have backed up. Randall Warboy Austin, but only temporarily because Randall Lawson just keeps coming forward. Let's go. Ooh. Great combo. Great up, yeah, uppercut snuck in there from Austin and an overhand. Two minutes in. Two minutes in. Hey, hey, movement. Watch him come in. Watch him come in. Both guys just working like they did in the first round. It's impressive. Ab absolutely no slowing down. Finley did land a good leg kick there. Nice left straight from Randall Austin. And Austin's going to want to try to get his back up away from this cage. That seems to be where Finley lands the better of his striking exchanges. And we do see a takedown attempt. But Finley, Finley once again defending very well. But he's not out of the clear just yet. Randall Austin has him up against the cage in the corner. Casey Oxendine telling him what to do. Good punches coming in from Austin. Randall Austin is going to want to try everything he can to keep this fight right here, right where it is. And Finley doing a great job of getting out of there and getting this fight where he wants it. All right, we've got less than two minutes to go in this championship fight between the champion Randall Austin and Shamel Finley. Randall getting back to the movement, switching the feet, moving the head. Good body kick. Now here we are at the tail end of the last round of the war. This is the moment in time that if a fighter really wants to try to push an impression on the judges, he's going to have to do it right about now. Let's go. Come forward. There you go. Take control of the center. Hey, 
Minute 15 left on the clock. This one has a lot of edge to it. Right straight finds its way from Finley. And we're down to a minute. Combination nice from Randall Austin. Good combination. This is where you hope your fighter turns up the intensity. Both guys swinging. Reach. We're within a minute. Reaching deep down into the bag of tricks. Finding that heart, finding that will, finding that place. Randall Austin charging in. No time to West. No time to waste. The strap up for grabs. We're going to have a finished fight here in 25 seconds. Shamal Finley landing punches. Randall Austin firing back. And Randall Austin took a good punch. 15 seconds left to go. Shamal Finley throwing some good shots here at the end of the fight. Incredible fight. Clack of the last 10 seconds. They're swinging. Austin fires off. Shamal hits him. Good punches from Shamal Finley. Man, what a barn burner we just got to watch. I hope you dodged that. I did. I hope you got out of the I, way I, of that. I think so. <laughs> Very excited, Shamal Finley. Man, Shamal Finley fired up. And so is Randall Austin. Got his hands up. Both these guys feel like they did enough. This one. Both warriors. It, 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 no, no doubt about that. Let's take a replay here to see some of the action at round number five. This is towards the end of the bout. Some punches land. Good one, two, three from Randall Austin. But look, Shamal Finley, that may have been a, one of the better combinations Man, of the night. Some shots there. Yeah, those shots, a lot of those landed. That's got to, excuse me, that's got to look good for him to the judges that are trying to find an, a, a fighter with an edge. And, this has been a really, really great championship fight. Both these guys feel good and confident about their performance. There you see Brandon, one of the Showcase MMA staff with the belt around his corner. It only goes on one waist. Will it be Randall Warboy Austin? Will it be Shamal Badman Finley? We will know in just a few moments as this fight has gone to the judges' scorecard. We go to Jennifer Oxendine for the final results on this fight. After five hard hitting rounds, we go to your judges scorecard for decision. Your judges all score this fight 45-50 in favor of your winner by unanimous decision. And your new 125 pound champ, Chanel Bodman Finley. All right, man, I'm here with your winner, Shamel Badman Finley. From the moment the bell rang in round one to the moment that it stopped in round five, you did not stop. You didn't give your opponent a chance to breathe, and you fought a game opponent in here tonight. Tell me how you're feeling right now, man. In one word, I'm just feeling so fucking great. Oh, excuse me. I'm feeling so grateful. I'm feeling so grateful. Um, the amount of things it took me to get here, uh, the people I thought that would be here in this moment that aren't everybody that helped me get here Whether it was putting gas in my car food in my mouth Giving me rides getting me to and from the gym getting me here turning in everything for this uh, Just thank you. I would also like to thank um, my former gym x3 
You know, they were my first home. They opened the doors to me first, and um, they helped me build to where I am today. Um, but now, you know, I'm, I'm happy to be announcing my transition to American Top Team Lima. They, they, they put me through the ringer. They welcomed me with open doors, and they made it possible that I could come out here and fight such a high-level fighter and get it done. Well, you showed a high-level performance of your own. In fact, one of the things that stands out to me was just your refusal to be taken down in this fight. Your opponent definitely tried everything to get you down to the ground. It just wasn't happening. Tell me about this takedown defense you've learned. Man, um, uh, a lot of people don't know it, but man, I come from Latonia wrestling. You know, you're not really going to know it, uh, but look it up. We, we were the truth. I got my, my, my buddy in my corner right now, Kirk. The truth, he's been my training partner since ninth grade. You know what I'm saying? Years and years of putting in work with this man. I got uh, the twins. They couldn't be here today. And a, and a bunch of other guys down on my weight. That man, if you're not stronger than them, if you're not more physical, if you're not more aggressive, you're not getting me down. How's it feel to have that strap around your waist, man? It, it feels like home. It feels like it's where it's supposed to be. Thank you, Tennessee, for having me. I, I'm, I'm honored to be here fighting in front of you guys, and I'm honored to wear this belt for y'all. All right, you heard it. Make some noise for your new champion. Great fight by Shamel Finley.